In the last class, we have discussed about bracket connections, welded bracket connections. Uh, we used fillet weld for connecting. And we also started and we also saw a little about bracket connection, welded connection itself, okay? But here the weld is of butt type, B-U-T-T, but, okay, as you can see on this screen. So, welded connection and up the put up bracket connection slow. There is a little difference. When you use a fillet weld, it, it, is, a very, it is a bit different. And if you use a butt weld, it is a very different. I mean, not very much big. And as you can see, there we have seen that there are two cases case one and case two, or type one and type two. Okay. Uh, depending upon the plane of movement and the plane of weld. If they are both same, it is type one. If the plane of movement and the plane of weld are perpendicular to each other, that is type two, isn't it? So here in the first uh, butt weld of weld and vada body bracket connection, Shayali and Kute, I cannot go for type one. Type one can the wheel part than matter, but weld and the okay. But weld is a way in which you weld it by making a groove, okay. You cannot do that in type one, okay. So when you go for butt weld, for bracket connection, you have to adopt the second type of weld uh, uh, arrangement itself, okay, arrangement only, in which the plane of movement, uh, let me draw that figure for you. So this is the column and this is the bracket and this is, this is the peak. and here is the weld. Okay, longitudinal and transfer. That, that, that's okay. See, the movement due to P will be on the vertical plane. At any phone screen key, someone is going to the plane in the And weld is on a plane which is perpendicular to your uh, mobile screen or laptop screen. Okay. The angle between the plane of movement and plane of weld is going to be 90 degrees. This is type 2. That is what we said. So, it plant connection ke manam bat weld ni chaitan ki velo. Okay. So now, the procedure of doing is same. The type of stresses that are going to come are same. We know that when this is a bracket connection, there are two types of stresses. One is direct shear stress, which we also call as vertical shear stress. Another one is bending stress. Yeah, for P. Okay, let me just clear this. Okay. This is FA and this is FP. Direct shear stress and bending shear stress are the two stresses that are going to develop inside the belt due to the externally applied factor load P. So, how do you calculate direct shear stress? Even if it is a group, I mean, fillet or but uh, uh, well, the expression is almost same, right? See, I mean, exactly the same direct shear stress. What is that? Factor load divided by what is this? Effective area of weld. Effective area of the weld. Okay, so that is what is direct shear stress. Okay, so P divided by D into D by T. D into T is nothing but effective area of the well. So factor load by area gives the direct shear stress. This is the expression that we used in case of fillet also, right? So now coming to this bending stress, FP is equals to, yes, of course, let me write this down here. Uh, the general equation is m by i is equals to fb by pi. So what is fb, guys? m by i to y. So you know that m i by y can be written as z. Therefore, fb is equals to m by z. What is m? p into e divided by z. So moment is equals to p into e. And section modulus is equals to 
Yes. And remember, what is the section modulus? Section modulus is nothing but section modulus of the weld only. Weld only. Okay, section modulus and then that. Not the column section, not the bracket. Section modulus is just the section modulus of the weld. Okay. Uh, we have seen that the bracket connection is going to have weld in this way uh, on both sides. Isn't it? So you can just find out the section modulus and this. So let me just clear this out. So you know that when these are the two stresses, we need to find the net resultant of these two stresses, right? So how do you get that? Here, there is a very big difference in case of fillet weld to butt weld. Generally, in butt, in fillet weld, in fillet weld, in fillet weld, Fe is equals to root over Fe square plus Fb square for type two, for type two. But here, as you can see, this is Fe square plus three into fb square 3 into fb square not 3b whole square 3 into fb square so now this is the expression so uh, what is the value fe indicates the value fe indicates that is the amount of stress that is the amount of resultant stress or equivalent stress or combined stress that is developed that is seen in inside the weld when a P load is acting on the bracket. Okay, so now what happens is you need to compare this stress which is generated in the weld due to load with the strength of the weld, isn't it? So now what is the strength of the weld? This equation, of course, this is nothing but Fu by root over three to gamma m double both are same f u by root 3 is nothing but f y divided by gamma m w you know what how to take gamma m w and f y is the yield strength of the weld or the parent metal whichever less remember when you're writing f u here or f y here uh, you have to compare the ultimate or yield strength of the both parent metal and the electrode metal. You have to take the least among these two values. Okay, so now just substitute them values and find out what is F y by gamma m w and compare with the stresses that are developing in the way. What happens if F e is greater than if F e is greater than F u by root three gamma mw fails and then and weld your strength fu by root 3 into gamma mw then kind of fe echo not like weld is going to fail for sure right so in order to not to fail the resultant stresses or the combined stresses that are generated in the weld should be either equal to the strength of the weld or should be less than that so this is the case okay 